All right, hello. So I'm gonna show you what's in the Chip Whisperer box. So it comes in this nice watertight case here. Um, and inside we have the various tools. So of course the core part is the Chip Whisperer itself, which has the various inputs. So there's the low noise amplifier. This is your analog signal input. Uh, and we have some options for clocks as well as power supplies for some of the probes and status lights um, for various operations, as well as the USB programming connector, and this is the USB data transfer connector, um, and some expandable I.O. And for your first sort of training or attack, um, you're given this multi-target multi board, it's called. So let me just go ahead and open that bag inside. Looks like this. So the AVR on it, this is a Mega 328, is pre programmed with an example implementation you can attack. There's also another X Mega device, and this is for uh, this Acebo W board. You can play around with that um, if you have that board or other smart cards. And this just connects with a 20 pin cable to the Chip Whisperer here. There's also a um, an adapter board that just lets you break out the 20 pin connector. So if you want to attack other targets or target a different device than this, this board, um, you can use this board to plug right into your chip whisperer. And as mentioned, this is an adapter that lets you plug the, the multi-target board into the Sasebo W board. So it just fits into the smart card reader and there's a cable here that connects them. Um, there's a number of cables, so the 20 pin cable, there's a 6 pin cable for the low noise amplifier or differential probe, and an 8 pin cable that fits this smart card adapter. Um, there's also an SMA cable in here, as well as a few small SMA adapters uh, that you may find useful. The USB cables are provided as well, just in the back here. So all of the USB cables are, they're one meter long and have a ferrite. So this is to help reduce noise. Um, there's two of them. One can be used, the USB-A can be used for the built-in AVR programmer or for power. And the USB mini is used for data transfer. So finally, we have two probes in here. Um, I won't take them out of the package here. I'll just show you. There's a differential probe. Uh, which helps reduce noise, and this is powered from the Chip Whisper. There's also a low noise amplifier probe, or a low noise amplifier here, so this can be used with a magnetic field probe, which one is provided for you, so it just screws together, and this gives you a nice low noise amplifier that you can plug into the Chip Whisper, or of course any other um, amplifier you want. So that's everything that's in the Chip Whisperer box.